The following story is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Phil. I work as a manager at Walmart. I'd say my life is going pretty good. I have a loving wife and a daughter that's on the way. I worked very hard to get to where I'm at now. Everything started to fall into place until about two weeks ago. About a year ago, I began to develop insomnia. I just couldn't take it anymore after a while, so I visited a psychologist. She helped me get over my insomnia and prescribed me some medication. I began to get better sleep after a while, but within the last month, Something happened to me, and it made me think my insomnia came back again, but even stronger. I wasn't even able to sleep for three entire days. I felt like my whole body was shutting down. I felt like I was dying from the inside. I was finally able to get five hours of sleep on the fourth day, and that's when this all started. It was the first time that I've ever experienced sleep paralysis. I just didn't know what it was like or what to expect. I didn't even know how scary it could be. It was about 3.30 in the morning when I woke up. I couldn't move anything at all, except my eyelids. I was sleeping on my side, facing the side of the room. After a while, it felt like I couldn't breathe. Then I started to shiver. I was freezing cold for some reason. About 10 minutes of mental pain and suffering had went by. Then I could finally move my eyeballs around the room. I began to viciously close and open my eyes, thinking this would help maybe the blood flow so I could start to move and wake up. But I didn't wake up. My eyes just kept blinking, my heart rate increased, and I shivered more intensely. I was terrified to think about even moving them to look somewhere else. I kept blinking for another minute until I was completely frustrated. Then at this point I gave in. I looked around the room, and I wish I hadn't. When my eyes met my halfway open bedroom door that led to a dark hallway, I saw her. It was a lady with a very pale white face. She had wiry hair and eyes that were rapidly blinking, staring at me. I felt a very weird, uncanny, and ominous feeling as I made eye contact with her. I stopped shivering, and I felt like I could breathe again. And that's when she disappeared, and I woke up. Fast forward a couple weeks later, I had forgotten all about my sleep paralysis incident, and I'd gone back to my normal sleep schedule. Work was normal. The gym was normal, my family life was normal. It was too good to be true. Every day, I began to see that woman everywhere. I would see her on the way to work. I would see her in every dark place every time I closed my eyes. I would even see her when I went to the gas station, just standing there. My heart rate kept increasing. This time, any time I tried to go to sleep, it wasn't my insomnia preventing me. It was the vision of this woman stopping me from going to sleep, knowing that she'd be standing there in the doorway again watching me. I have not seen any improvement lately, but I have an appointment set up with my psychologist to talk through this as well as maybe get prescribed some new medication. But this terrifies me, 
and I think it will for the rest of my life. My family and I moved into this new 55 plus community. It was the end of April and it was a brand new two bedroom house. The community was very quiet and it's nicer than any house that I've ever been in. I've always been an anxious person. We moved across state lines so dealing with a fair bit of stress was to be expected. Add that to the financial strain of our family having to find a new job and pay for all the fees that come with this new house as well as moving to a brand new place. My parents were gone for the night. They had left the city to celebrate their anniversary. I walked over to the kitchen and I flicked the lights on. I made myself a glass of water before turning in for the night. I had just gotten finished watching some ghost stories. I like to watch stuff like this in true crime because it interests me. It's something that keeps me entertained. So when I got done with my glass of water, I shut off the TV. I walked over to the living room sofa and I put a pillow between my head and the armrest. I found myself slowly dozing off. I found myself waking up at about 1 in the morning. But when I woke up, it wasn't like a nice peaceful awakening. It was very threatening and disorienting is the best way I could describe it. I remember feeling this a strange sensation in my stomach of absolute terror. My brain signals my body to wipe my eyes so I can see. But then I realize, as soon as I thought I was rubbing my eyes, I wasn't really doing anything. My body was lying there, lifeless on the sofa. All I could do was stare at the dark ceiling. A couple minutes went by and my eyes began to adjust. It was kind of hard for me to see because my glasses were off. But as my sight began to sharpen, I noticed there was a dark figure hovering over me. I could barely see it, but it was illuminated by the moonlight that was coming through the window. My chest got very tight. I held my breath. My heart began to race. It began to get closer to me, and I just couldn't make out any facial features. I just felt this ominous presence in front of me, staring at it. This silhouette of a human-shaped figure leaning over me and watching me as I lay there paralyzed, unable to move, unable to speak, barely able to breathe. I close my eyes and I muster the strength to breathe, slowly and calmly. Over time I began to get control of my arms and legs. As soon as I could shoot up, about 10 minutes later I run over to the light and I turn it on. The figure was gone. I scrambled to turn on more lamps in the house. I grabbed a knife from the kitchen and I inspected the whole house for signs of trespassers. I opened every single door and then I locked every single window to ensure everything was secure. I reluctantly crawled back into bed, leaving on a couple lamps to ease my shaken mind. I felt really weird the next day. In the morning I thought it was just a bad dream. I felt foolish for keeping on the light, like a scared child, but then I remember my friend, recounting her experience with sleep paralysis. So I went onto my phone and I did some mild research online. Surely enough, I convinced myself that it's exactly what I had experienced, so it was a completely reasonable explanation as to what had happened. Maybe I was just stressed out from the move and... Things like this happen when you're stressed out. The following few weeks 
proved to be my stress getting the best of me. About once a week for those three weeks, that same visitor, that same dark silhouette of a person floating over me would visit me. Every single time my heart began to race. And I would close my eyes, breathe slowly and tell myself, this is just sleep paralysis. It's not real. I'm safe here. Coping with it like this helped me a lot. But then it got worse. The next time that I had gotten sleep paralysis, I'd say it was around 3.30 in the morning. I awoke to the usual unsettling appearance of the silhouette figure hovering above me. So I did what I did the last few times and I closed my eyes and I told myself everything was going to be okay. I slowed my breathing and after about six or seven breaths, I was calming down. I was attempting to go back into sleep. This time was different because I heard a low, deep sigh come from the figure above me. Shortly after, I felt cold fingers grip around my neck. The fingers around my neck were very rough and they were unnaturally cold as if they were sitting inside a refrigerator. A few moments went by and my eyes felt like they were bulging out of my head and panic overcame every single instinct in my body. I actually even remember feeling sweat roll down the side of my face. About a minute pass of this terrifying encounter and I muster the strength to form a fist and punch through the figure. As soon as I felt my fist punch through nothing but air, where the figure was hovering, I felt the grip on my neck let go, and I woke up screaming. My parents came rushing over to me. I told them what happened, and they searched the house, and I helped them. After a while, we concluded that it was just a nightmare. They reassure me and I go to the bathroom to use the bathroom before I could fall back asleep. As I shuffle my way into the bathroom, I really wish I didn't look. But I looked into the mirror and out of the corner of my eye, I saw in the shape of a hand, four fingers and a thumb around my throat. The next thing that I remember was waking up. That was the first time that I've ever experienced sleep paralysis within a dream. After a long while, my family and I had determined that I had awoken from a terrifying and vivid series of nightmares, as there was absolutely no evidence of anybody intruding into the house. My family had reassured me, and ever since then, I haven't seen this figure or dealt with any sleep paralysis ever since. But one thing I can definitely say is that I still fall asleep with the lights on to this day.